Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I wanted to do a video on Mystery Babylon. This is found in the book of Revelation. Where I am right now is uh, Revelation 17, the great prostitute and the beast. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and said to me, come, I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute who is seated on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed sexual immorality, and with wine, and of whose sexual immorality the dwellers on earth have become drunk. And he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on scarlet beast that was full of blasphemous names. So, this is a video where I am speculating. A lot of people think Mystery Babylon is um, Rome. Um, and while, as an ex-Catholic, um, I see the deception uh, with Rome, I don't think Rome is Mystery Babylon. Um, and there are a couple key points that are found in this that will show you, I believe, uh, why it cannot be Rome. So here we have, come I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute who is seated on many waters. So America, and this is who I think Mystery Babylon is, um, sea to shining sea. So we have the many waters there. And with kings of the earth have committed sexual immorality with wine um, and have become drunk. So who influences the entire world? What country? What country influences the entire world? America. You have Hollywood goes around to the entire world where other countries try to emulate it and so Hollywood is one of the big ones okay so we'll move on from here Babylon the great mother of prostitutes and the earth's abominations and I saw a woman I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. Okay. The beast that you saw was and is not and is about to rise from the bottomless pit and go to destruction. And the dwellers of the earth whose names have not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world will marvel to see the beast because it was and is not and is to come. These are of one mind and they hand over their power and authority to the beast. So it's discussing here the Antichrist, uh, how the Antichrist is going to receive a head wound, how he should have died, but yet he is alive. Um, the waters that you saw where the prostitute is seated are peoples and multitudes and nations and languages. And then the ten horns that you saw, they and the beast will hate the prostitute. So this is interesting from my study Bible. The satanic alliance of prostitute and beast will disintegrate and military power will ravage the economic system it once supported. When the beast and its allies strip the prostitute naked and devour her flesh and burn her up with fire, they will imitate the judgment pronounced by God on Israel, his unfaithful bride. Uh, God's sovereignty uses even his enemies to carry out his purpose and fulfill his words, both for the salvation of his people and the destruction of the enemies themselves. And here we have a little 
Um, this is all relevant, the book of Revelation. I highly recommend to read this now. Um, so, enemies of the church. So, the beast, uh, which is the, um, the Antichrist, the false prophet, um, quite possibly the pope, that is speculation. So, the false prophet, uh, possibly the pope, uh, the Catholic church, um, the prostitute beguiling affluence. Okay. So now we're going to move over here. And a woman that you saw is the great city that has dominion over the kings of the earth. I believe New York is going to be wiped out. I don't think there's anything that can save New York. I think it is destined to be destroyed. Um, and let's take a look here. The fall of Babylon, which I believe is America and specifically New York. So the fall of Babylon. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his glory, and he called out with the mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling place of demons, a haunt for every unclean spirit, a haunt for every unclean bird, a haunt for every unclean and detestable beast, for all nations have drunk the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality, and the kings of the earth have committed immorality with her, and the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxurious living. Okay, so then, then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. My people, lest you take part in her sins, lest you share in her plagues, for her sins are heaped high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Pay her back as she herself has paid back others, and repay her double for her deeds. Mix a double portion for her in the cup she mixed, as she glorified herself and lived in luxury." As she glorified herself and lived in luxury, so give her a like measure of torment and mourning, since in her heart she says, I sit as a queen, I am no widow, the mourning I shall never see. So if you think back to World War I, World War II, America was not invaded. The war did not take place on American soil. So this is a hint that this is America. I sit as a queen. I am no widow. And I have written here, America never previously invaded. And because of this, America thinks... Uh, the morning I shall never see. For this reason, her plagues will come in a single day. Death and mourning and famine, and she will be burned up with fire. For mighty is the Lord God who has judged her. This is a judgment from God. So, in a single day, she's going to be destroyed. And the kings of the earth who committed sexual immorality and lived in luxury with her will weep and wail over her when they see the smoke of her burning. They will stand far off in fear of her torment and say, 
Alas, alas, you great city, you mighty city Babylon, for in a single hour your judgment has come. Single hour. And here is one of the key reasons that I believe this is not Rome. Like I say, many people do believe it's Rome. I don't. Um, And the merchants of the earth weep and mourn for her since no one buys their cargo anymore. Cargo of gold, silver, jewels, pearls. fine linen, purple cloth, silk, scarlet cloth, all kinds of scented wood, all kinds of articles of ivory, all kinds of articles of costly wood, bronze, iron, marble, cinnamon, spice, incense, mirth, frankincense, wine, oil, fine flour, wheat, cattle, sheep, horses and chariots and slaves, that is, human souls. The fruit of which your soul longed has gone from you. And all your delicacies and your splendors are lost to you, never to be found again. The merchants of these wares who gained wealth from her will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping and mourning aloud. So here is a city surrounded by water, which is a hub of trade. So it is, there are many ports, and I believe this is New York. And the merchants, alas, alas, for the great city that was clothed in fine linen, in purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, with jewels, and with pearls. For in a single hour, all this wealth has been laid waste. So in New York, you have the, uh, that's the, basically the central part for the UN. You see all the flags for the UN in there. Uh, The trade centers. I firmly believe it is New York. And all shipmasters and seafaring men, sailors, and all those who trade is on the sea, stood far off and cried out as they saw smoke of her burning. Rome is not known as a high trade area. This right here, key, I believe, is New York. Okay. So we have a city destroyed. And we have the merchants who are doing trade with the city. They're far off in their boats and they're crying... because they can no longer trade with the city. It's completely devastated. What city was like the great city? So close your eyes. What city do you think for the earth is the great city? If you were to think right now, what's the first city that comes to mind? New York. So New York destroyed, I believe. And they threw dust on their heads and wept and mourned, crying out, Alas, alas, for the great city, where all had ships, all who had ships at sea, grew rich by her wealth, for in a single hour, again we see that single hour, she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O heaven, and you saints and apostles and prophets, for God has given judgment 
for you against her. Again, this is a judgment from God. Uh, and there's, there's no changing this. God is going to judge America, which I believe is Mystery Babylon. Then the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, So will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down with violence and will be found no more. So this is apart from the study Bible. The merchants who gained wealth from the great prostitute, materialistic, Okay, so I've got a couple notes there. Single hour, New York, destroyed. Okay. Now. The sound of harpists, musicians, flute players. You know, when you think of New York, the hustle and bustle, uh, music in the, you know, you'll hear music, that kind of thing, crafts, peddlers. Um, sound of the mill will be heard in you no more. And the light of the lamp will shine in you no more. The light of the lamp. The light of a lamp. And the light of a lamp will shine in you no more. Statue of Liberty? Maybe. For your merchants were the great ones of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery. Again, America has been the most powerful nation in the world. You have New York and those areas with the trade, and then you have Hollywood. Uh, just if if you can't see the Satanism in Hollywood now, it's just so apparent. Um, and they're spreading this through all the world. It's distributed. Okay, so we got that. And the smoke goes up. Smoke from her goes up forever and ever. Okay, so we have that. And that is mainly it. So we have surrounded by many waters. Let's go back here, just to review. Okay, so let's review this. Seated on many waters. So we have there, seated on many waters. Okay, so we have the Atlantic, we have the Pacific. Okay. Even an American, the national anthem, Sea to Shining Sea. Okay. So then we have Babylon, the great mother of prostitutes, the earth's abominations. Like, as soon as I hear that, I think Hollywood spreading immorality around the world. Uh, the beast that you saw was and is not. Okay, so that's about the Antichrist. Which is, brings me to this, the satanic alliance of the prostitute and beast will disintegrate. Military power will ravage the economic system it once supported. So there was support there at one point. When the beast in its alley strip the prostitute naked and devour her flesh and burn it up with fire. So the beast does not care about Babylon. Uses it for his own requirements and then just destroys it. okay so we got that then again and the woman that you saw in the great city it's a great city what city do you think of quick i think of new york has dominion over the kings of the earth all nations have drunk. Merchants, luxurious living, 
glorified herself in luxury. I sit as a queen. I am no widow. So that means no warfare has taken place there. Uh, again, you look at World War I, World War II, the war took place in Europe. It wasn't on American soil. America never previously invaded. Uh, for this reason, so basically, for this reason, her plagues will come in a single day. So um, I know people view the American military as the most powerful military in the world. Well, something is going to happen that it's for naught. So America, no matter how powerful we perceive it now, and, and this is all my opinion, um, I, it's going to be wiped out in a single day, burned up with fire. So many things can happen to cause this. It could be uh, an asteroid. It could be nuclear war. Kings of the earth who committed sexual morality with her. Okay, so we have that. Single hour, how amazing. So what can happen to destroy this great empire in a single hour? And it mentions the mill, like a millstone in the, the sea. That could be an asteroid or it could be nuclear. And then you have the merchants of the earth weep and mourn for her since no one buys their cargo anymore. Again, it just screams New York. Her delicacies and splendors never to be found in you again. The merchants of these wares who gained wealth from her will stand off far in fear and torment, weeping and mourning aloud. In a single hour, all this wealth has been laid waste. Look at that. In a single hour. And then a single hour again is mentioned. So it's going to be quick. Going to be quick. Then the mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and threw it into the sea, saying, So will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down with violence and will be found no more. So that could be an asteroid, could be nuclear weapons. And this is one that I just found tonight, actually, that I kind of just thought, that kind of sounds like the Statue of Liberty. And the light of a lamp will shine in you no more. It would help if I could read. Uh, so, in the light of a lamp will shine in you no more. What do you think of when you think of New York? Do you see the Statue of Liberty? And your merchants were great ones of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery. The smoke from her goes up forever and ever. So that's mainly it. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, these are my opinions. This is my speculation, and this is what most likely I believe uh, is Mystery Babylon. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment below, and uh, thanks for watching. God bless you. Adios.